Buddy. What's up, dude? Wow. Wait a minute. What the? <laughs> He's become known as the Deer Whisperer. Lynn Smith and his wife live in Austin, Texas, and have befriended more than 50 deer. He posts videos of his encounters with the animals on social media, including TikTok, which he now has uh, more than 2 million followers. And Lynn is with us this morning. Good morning. What the heck? Yeah, we got everybody out today. <laughs> Lynn, okay, so you obviously had a lot of, you're, you live in a place where there's a lot of deer nearby, but are you doing something other than feeding them all to get them to come by you? No, just I have the food. <laughs> <laughs> but how long did it take you to get them to trust you enough to come right to you? Uh, some took about a year. Uh, to actually feed out of my hand. It all happened during COVID. And uh, my wife and I started working out outside. Uh, we canceled our membership at the gym. Started working out outside, running sprints up the driveway, and they just got super comfortable and started getting closer and closer. And we started buying corn and protein pellets and soybeans. And uh, this one here, Bluebell, she's the first one that ate out of my hand. And... Uh, we got Buddy and Sandy and Chuck. Yeah, how, how do you how do you look at a deer and say, okay, this this is a Pablo for sure? <laughs> um, you know, it's when you're up close with the deer, they they have, you know, their their faces look different. Huh. Um, the coating, they have scars, oh. uh, and the you know, their horns are different. Sure. Um, six point, eight point, ten point. Um, but when you're up close, uh, you, you can tell. You can tell them apart pretty easily. Uh, is there's got to be a downside to having so many deer hanging around your property? Uh, what do your neighbors think of all of that? Actually, the neighbors love them. Um, there's a lot of people in the neighborhood that actually feed them as well. Huh? Is there is there a danger to doing that? I I or no? Some people say it is, but look. Yeah. <laughs> So, Lynn, I, I don't know anything about the forest, but but I would imagine there are some wildlife officials that say, hey, maybe you're upsetting the balance of, you know, the you got bobcats and coyote out there. Uh, has that been raised at all? No, th there's not that many coyotes and bobcats out here. There's a few. Um, there's a high population of deer, though. There, there's a lot of deer. <laughs> you keep feeding them. You're, you're going to be a really high population of deer. And then what do you do? I'm going to have to get a second job. <laughs> well, and for those who are wondering, you are not, you know, employed in the animal industry at all. You have no training. What is your job, Lynn? I do equipment financing for small businesses. Yeah. So not yeah. exactly. I mean, are, have you always been an animal lover? Yeah, I yeah. have. But you never noticed that you were, uh, you had a real bond with the deer before now. You know, I think I just have a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> is your wife as enthusiastic as you are? I'm not seeing her on the talk as much. Uh, the wife, uh, she she comes out and feeds them once in a while. Yeah. Uh, the, well, the the deer, when other people come around, they, they act a little different. Oh, um, so, so this is mostly you. So you are really kind of a whisperer about this. I'm trying. <laughs> and so you have kids? I, I didn't miss that. Did they? How old are they, and do they like this? We have 12, 13, and 14-year-olds, and they like it. I think they're a little upset that uh, I have more followers than they do. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it's all about. Now, have you worked it out where you can get a dance routine going with the deer? Because that's big on the talk. Oh, you want to see one dance? Yeah. Yeah. Here go. Uh, come on. Yeah, uh, she's not good this morning. Not in the mood. Well, we all have those mornings. Wow. Uh, Sandy. Look at they know all the names. How many are there? We're feeding, uh, seventy, actually. Seventy. Wow. Yeah, we're going to going through about two thousand pounds of feed a month. What's that costing you? 
protein, corn, and soybeans. Yeah, and what's that? What's that running you a month? What's your budget now for, for that? Seven, eight hundred dollars. Oh my! Yeah, goodness. the kids don't need to go to college. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried about any of those? Bucks with the, the big antlers or the racks, that could really get you in the wrong spot or when they wander through your house. I saw them wandering in your house. Yeah, I've got to be really careful. Um, there's been a few times where they've gotten a little aggressive, but it's it's not bad. Um, it's when uh, when they're all together super close. I've got to spread the feet out throughout yeah. the yard. Well, they get tied with one another. Lynn, keep up the good work. You Thank can, you. You can check out more of Lynn's videos and follow him <laughs> on social media. You can check out his YouTube page at Dear Whisperer Lynn Smith. Lynn, you're a very you're a very interesting cat, and it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Lynn. I appreciate it. Take care. Good luck to you. Oh, that guy's coming hey, for him. Yeah. Uh. <laughs>